this now. We're kind of bracing for tomorrow here. <laughs> hey, I got to be honest with you guys. My short time being here, kind of underwhelmed with the snow so far. <laughs> so we're going to have another stab at it for Friday. We're adding to the snow gauge possibly, but check it out. Not that impressive. Just north of the U.S. border, we're looking at our next storm system rolling out of the Rockies and it's heading our way. As we head throughout the next 24 hours, we already have winter weather advisories posted out for most of our communities. Outside of that, our far northeasternmost communities, Carroll and also Audubon County, under a winter storm warning. That will begin at 6 o'clock for tomorrow morning. It runs until 6 o'clock for Saturday morning. So a significant stretch of seeing possible uh, multiple inches of snow, significant amount of snowfall, especially the further east you go. Here's the latest timeline. Just want to run you through all throughout the second half of the evening rain to the overnight. This is early in the morning Friday. Check out our far northernmost communities. This is why they have that, that winter storm uh, warning in effect because I believe all throughout the day, as early as daybreak tomorrow, Denison Curl could see some water wall uh, snow showers all throughout the morning rain to the early afternoon. Meanwhile, down to the south, as we get closer to the late morning, temperatures slightly bump above the freezer mark. We could see a quick burst of light rain rainfall, but cold air will eventually take over as we get closer to the afternoon hours. Here it is, 3, 4 o'clock, getting closer to your evening ride home. Luckily, most of the school districts are continuing to uh, cancel school for tomorrow because the evening drive home could be quite dicey. Here it is, still looking at some light snow bands beginning to push out the entirety of the region as we get closer to early Saturday morning. Now, with all that considered, most of the heavy snow has shifted further off to the east. I still consider a three to six range right along communities, right along I-29 and the Missouri River. The further west you go, the less snow you receive. The further east you go, Atlantic, Carroll, even into Creston could see higher amounts, six plus inches of snow. Here in the metro area, a little bit more uh, sp uh, specification when it comes to what we could receive. Here in Omaha, I'm going with three to five inches. Here in Douglas County, Council Bluff, same thing. The further west you go, Fremont out to Wahoo, lesser amounts, two to four inches of snow. So with all that considered, guys, again, right now is the time to plan. If you want to skip out on your lunch break, that means hitting the roads a little bit earlier on in the afternoon, the evening, you may want to rearrange that. Three to five inches expected for the metro area. Blowing snow is also a possibility. We're looking at wind gusts getting as high as 35 miles an hour, but ending as we get closer to Saturday around daybreak with partly cloudy skies. But yeah, back to reality, we're looking at a high of only 19 degrees for afternoon high temperature under partly sunny skies for Sunday. Looking at a high of 36, rebounding nicely before the bottom eventually drops by midweek. Okay, we'll be ready. Thanks, Anthony. Scott Frost completes his...